Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me and I'm here in the creativity nest and we're just going to ignore that mess back there So, uh, because I've been super busy. So I have um, promised to do some product showcases in the, in, uh, in the upcoming week and last week I featured the Fresh as a Daisy paper and um, this week, last Thursday actually, I had... Um, Christmas cards in the nest for August, and um, we used something that people were really enthralled with and surprised with. So today was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer what I was going to showcase. So um, chime in and let me know if you're old school like this. So this is something that we use a lot of when I first started 20 years ago. I'm going to take you to my desk, and you're going to be like, yeah, yeah watercolor pencils and blender pens is this new to you or is this like oh yeah that's old school i already know about that or wait what is that so let me just first showcase the product um these are watercolor pencils these are the new colors so there is two sets there's a uh one set of watercolor pencils that comes and the colors are here on the back uh you can see uh just the variety of color um, pretty standard colors. Then there's a watercolor pencil assortment too that is also available and then that's just additional colors to add to this assortment. So they are Stampin' Up! colors which is really really nice and um, they're not, you know, when I first started they were just generic colors. These are actually Stampin' Up! colors. The other thing you'll need when you're using the watercolor pencils is blender pens and they come in a set of three. That's why I'm showing three. And if you're not familiar with what this product is, hi Tanya, if you're not familiar with what it is, this is a glycerin based pen. They are um, double sided. Both tips are the same. They have uh, the same tip on both sides so you can use either side. Um, there's a glycerin based product in here which makes the watercolor pencils kind of turn in they kind of I would tell the girls the other night that just makes them melt so I want to show you that and then I'm going to also share um, a new stamp set out of the mini catalog I can't share the inside of the catalog because it goes live tomorrow so get your orders ready because this is a wonderful catalog full of holiday goodness and we're going to show, I'm going to show you um, a set that's in here called The Gift of Giving. So this stamp set is a standalone stamp set. There are no dies, punches, or anything. Um, there is this beautiful coffee cup, which is what I'm going to show you today because I just love that. Uh, little uh, packages, gifts from Santa Claus, and then a to you, which I don't know about you, but I'm dying to color this in all the retro colors like pinks and pinks and coastal cabanas. I just think that would be so cute. So we're going to use the um, have a cup of cheer and what I did was I stamped this for you and I pre-cut it out. So I cut it out for you. It's all ready to go. Now you might ask when you're using blends or when you're using um, markers there's certain ink you have to use. The watercolor pencils are a little more forgiving. Whether you use stays on you use Memento or you use classic stamping pad. The most important thing is just damp it and let it dry. Okay, let it dry because the glycerin based, the glycerin based blender pens are not adding a lot of liquid. So you're okay using any of these. Of course, on the um, stamp set like this that's red rubber, the stays on is perfect. I'm just giving you a little back, a little back uh, story. If you're using um, clear stamps, hi Lee, if you're using clear stamps, then um, you're going to want to stay away from stays on. It's really hard to get it off, um, to clean it off of your stamp. So then, you know, you want to be careful. But any of these are, are okay, are okay. So I picked out some colors and I want to show you um, just how yummy this is. And I'm, I'm seriously say yummy. I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if I can zoom in. A little oh yeah there I can zoom in a little I want to zoom in because I want you to see this and I'm going to um, be using um, some melon mambo and poppy parade paper from the Mary Bold and Bright 
um, sweet. So this is going to be the paper that I'm going to use. So I'm going to pick out my uh, Melon Mambo pencil. And what's nice about the pencils is you do not have to color the whole image in. So I'm going to color the just the um, parts of the cup. This is the parts that are on the inside. And then I am going to just outline. And I think this is what people were really shocked by that they can get automatically get some really nice shading. So I'm going to just color the parts that might be dark and I'm going to leave it just like that. So now I'm going to show you with the blender pen. So I'm going to grab a tip and I usually make sure that it's writing clear on my scrap paper. And then I'm just going to coat. See, I'm just adding the blender pen and see how that's blending. So let's do the handle. This is where I'm going to add some shading. I'll just kind of pull it out, but see how that's shaded? Let me bring it up so you can see it. So it's just shaded. And then this will just melt this color. And you might do it a couple times. And, and what I mean by that, I'll show you here in a second. So it's just taking that pencil. It's just turning into color. It just melts the color just like this. And if I want to go in and add a little bit more shading, I'm going to add a little scribble here because I want to pull my color in just a little. It looks super messy, but then when you add the blending pen, it makes that color melt and you get some fabulous shading just like that. You always write your pen off until it comes clear. I'm going to show you again with the um, marshmallows. Yes, marshmallows are white, totally white. I get that. But when you add a little bit of blue, whether it's pool party or in this case, this is um, balmy blue, it gives you an illusion of, I don't know, a whiter white or it's just a fun, like if you use this on ice cubes, You'll see what I'm saying. You'll be like, well, marshmallows aren't blue, but it's not really showing it as a blue marshmallow. It's just showing it as some color. So see how it's see how it's just softened that up? You know, we could go ahead and do the same with the chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to color around here. I'm using crushed curry, which is a yellow. Again, writing off, getting that blue off. And I'm going to go around it quickly. But then I'm going to come in with the pumpkin pie, pecan pie, pecan pie. And then bring a little more color in where my shading might be. Just like this. I've got one done for you, but I want to show you. And then lastly, I've got to make my chocolate chips. I'm doing it super sloppy and messy so that you can see that it doesn't have to be perfect. Blender pen is going to blend that color and it's super yummy, just like this. Okay, so I've got one done and I colored the whole thing. Um, I colored it with real red. I left my berries white and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. So I'm going to bring in my pieces. I'm going to put this card together so that you can see it's super simple. A piece of, let me zoom back out again so that you can see the whole card. Yeah, there you go. All right, so I'm going to fold. This is Poppy Parade, and I'm using Poppy Parade because that's the color here, Poppy Parade, in my designer series paper. And this is Poppy Parade and Melon Mambo. I'm going to add my paper. Just like so. This designer series paper is uh, three and three quarters by five. Yes, it's part of the new mini. Yes, good. Thank you for asking. This stamp set's in the new mini. The watercolor pencils, Lee, and the blender pens are in the annual catalog. I took one of the new deco circles. This is in the mini too, and you're not going to want to miss these because there's about 
200. Just kidding. There's about 14 or more um, pieces of that gold circle. I mean, it goes, the one, the biggest one is about this big. So you scrapbookers are going to definitely want to grab that. Oh, goodness. I'm having uh, adhesive trouble today. Usually, this is a brand new one. So I'm going to run that off the side of my page just like that. And then I'm going to bring in my scissors. And I'm going to cut that. So I've got the illusion of just like a half circle. And then I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to add. You'll see how quick this card is, but how adorable. And I'm going to show it to you in... Um, blends too so that you can see the difference between my um, watercolor pencils and my um, blends but we need to add a few of the new these are new dots I'm gonna add three these are flat discs they're called discs I absolutely love them they're in granny apple green this one is I just use it. And iridescent, melon mambo, a balmy blue, and real red. So super, super pretty. You can see I've already used a ton and the catalog hasn't even gone live. So I don't have that many left. So here's the card. And then I finish it off. I'm going to show. So this one is supposed to be a product highlight of watercolor pencils, but I want to show you more product. So um, I don't know if you've seen the pearlized enamel um, basic Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics. The basic pack is black, real red, and white. We also have in the catalog gold, copper, and silver. So I wanted to wait till I had this all put together. Now, I'm going to... But my, friend, my best friend Betsy hates when I do this, but this little branch to me, to me, is mistletoe. Mistletoe has white berries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the enamel basic effects. Whoops, I want more there. I want this nice and fat. It will, it's got a little dot on it now, but that will settle down. And I'm going to show you one when it's finished. So then I've added my berries and they're going to dry. They take, oh, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Set it aside. I don't want you to see the card, I guess. I'm going to try not to stick my hand in it. Here is one that I did with the blend. So you can see the difference. It's bright, it's bold. I use the blends. Oh, excuse me. Here's the little berries. You can see the little berries on it popped up. And then here's the blends versus the watercolor pencil. So kind of a totally different look. Super fun to use. Um, super, super... Um, fun to play with because the color kind of melts a lot of more control like you have a lot more room for error when you're using the pencils because you just have to basically be able to sketch and then you're taking your blending pen to blend it and it's more like using a crayon where this you've you know sometimes you have to kind of know your shading um and you know you can go outside the lines but with this one a lot a lot easier so there's the difference between watercolor pencils and um, blends on the project. And I'm just gonna set those aside and I'm gonna bring in my mini catalog again because I just wanna say that this mini catalog goes live tomorrow, um, August the, no, not August, September the 6th. And um, about, in central time, about four o'clock. So about four, 4 a.m. central, so, um, Go ahead and you can use the shopping, the shopping uh, link that I have posted in the video and uh, grab what you want because um, there's some absolutely fabulous stuff in here and I'd love to show you the inside but I can't show it until the catalog goes live. So happy stamping. Enjoy using watercolor pencils again. Bring them back if you have them in your stash. Bring them back. Use them. Share them. And if you don't, you need to get some. So you guys have a great day. Bye, everybody.